We just did book our first Breaking Even TV trip. Yeah, but should we no. talk about that? Or? Nah. Oh, let's keep that one on the DL. What's up on Super Bowl bets? Lion. Brett you Favre. Know. This is where we're diving in because I am sick of the Chiefs winning. Let's no. get into it. <laughs> Taylor Swift. It just keeps <laughs> going. No, 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 no. It'll be cool when the sport gets to the point where there's like documentaries and those kind of feature length films being made about people like that. I mean, a lot of people have been swiping up and asking, like, what are we bad at? I am terrible at soccer. I'm You're so gonna lose excited. some South American fans. I'm pretty pretty useless at football. I can catch. The, the, the football shape doesn't make sense to me. It's pretty fire at rollerblading, I think. Yeah, boys. I'm here. What's going on? You guys, are, you guys are already, uh, are you uh, recording? Yeah. We're just talking about how much rain we've been getting down here. Dude, so nuts. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. It was crazy, too, because, like, yesterday it was, like, pretty, like, it was pretty mellow. And then, um, and then like, all of a sudden at night it just came back, like, super strong. And then yeah. it was, like, from, like, 8.30 to, like, 11.30. It was just pouring. It was, like, and then it was the wind all day today it was like 20 knots like just straight on shore like from uh, the time i woke up dude i was like in i was in my bed last night like just ready to go to sleep the mm-hmm. second that i turned my lights off it was just like like yeah. blowing like crazy rain like mad and i was yeah. like <laughs> i was like where did this come from like I was, yeah, not it was nuts. expecting it to be. I, it to be well, like it that. was yeah. It it was like I was I was tracking like uh, I was checking like the radar and like I could see like right around like eight nine o'clock there was just like this huge cell that was just gonna just blast like basically from L A down to like San Clemente and it was just gonna go like for like three hours and I was like, dude, this is gonna be gnarly. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it was definitely as strong as I thought it was gonna be. But. It, was, it was wild and even today like it, the forecast was mm-hmm. no rain mm-hmm. whatever and i was on the golf course with a couple of buddies and like it just started dumping out of nowhere like you could see it coming from like like a mile yeah. away and we were like holy shit <laughs> like, what, <laughs> what's going on here and then yeah. Just, yeah the first the first days of the of like whatever's going on right now in the whole state that happened here it was warm and like sparse clouds, sunny, like, and, and, uh, it felt like Hawaii, like the air was warm and it was really humid and it was like raining with the sun out. Oh, yeah. That's weird. That's exactly what's been happening. Like at least today, like there was probably three separate occasions that it was raining with the sun out. And I was like, mm-hmm. where's the rainbow? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it, it's that's a the perf the perfect equation for a rainbow. Did you go looking for yeah. it with the drone? Yeah, I I actually found it. Uh, what day was that? I think it was Monday. I f- I filmed Lincoln one of those days, <laughs> just just for shits and gigs, and it was it was so bad. But <laughs> when we were in the when we were in the parking lot, I I sent my drone up because I saw it. I I followed the rainbow around, which was pretty sick. Dude, you, you should you should reach out to Ritz Carlton and try to sell them that. If it's like a pretty high res photo, you should try to sell them the photo. Like, yeah, I mean, I know. Like, I was just, I was just reading. Um, uh, was it triple, triple A? I think like they they have like a mag, they have like a monthly magazine. Yeah, uh, and it's called Westways, and um, Ritz Carlton like advertises it, and they, I saw they had photos of like from the water of mm-hmm. like, um, like at Creek, like of the Ritz Carlton and stuff, and I'm like. It was like a pretty, it was just, you know, it was like a lame surfing photo that like yeah. some commercial guy like just went out and, you know, took like a GoPro shot or whatever. And that's what they yeah. use. And like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> like, we should be selling Riz Garlton photos and stuff. Like, like that rainbow photo, like, dude, they, they for sure would put that in some, some type of brochure. Or, yeah. I don't know, something, something. I mean, it's probably not high res enough to like blow up like, you know, like a, like a mural, but like, but like yeah they could use it for something for sure yeah i don't know i I shot that in the like the panorama um like 
program that the DJI has that it kind of just does the whole yeah. on its own. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll have to have to dive in. I don't know. Minus you just look up their like general contact or something and just be like, hey, like I got this cool photo. Like, would you guys want to license it for something? Like, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I, I've never seen I've never seen a photo of the freaking rainbow. <laughs> behind it before i know it was it was like it was like the whole like the yeah it's it was like the per- yeah it was it. like the it was like the perfect like framing too for it like it was the way that it was like over the whole park yeah um yeah um wedge i don't know i i know you guys like kind of saw some stuff i think it was like on monday yeah there was like a yeah. couple guys out in the afternoon I, dude yeah. i don't know i watched it for a while and i was like uh i the i don't know if the bacterial infection was like worth it yeah. like i don't know it was there was a couple there was a couple waves but it was mostly just like ran, it was like short really random like kind of it was kind of like how like elisa breaks on like the super short period like windswell mm. where it's just like a scattered little like quick peaks like it wasn't uh to me it didn't seem like super organized but yeah i don't know yeah I hopefully saw, soon saw, though saw a couple waves on the cam that was like oh, maybe yeah. yeah it was like deba- it was debatable it was enough to why i mean it was enough to keep me intrigued but i just like i just wasn't I, knowing how dirty the water was because dude it's, it's pretty bad like i can smell like i can smell ah. the water like um, we went like I walked down to the beach. Um, I think it was t- Tuesday, maybe Tuesday night or Wednesday night, and it was like you could literally smell. Like I could smell the water. I was like, yeah, no way, I'm not going. This, this I think is it's a good probably, choice not going in there. This is probably a a good thing. Maybe like how how close are you to the to the ocean now? Now that you've moved into your new location. Um, yeah, dude, I'm pretty. I'm pretty damn close. I could. <laughs> If I was if I was Uncle if I was Uncle Rico, I think I could I think I could toss a football <laughs> into the lineup at Wedge. Okay, well that's that's good for us <laughs> and for everyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's pretty nice. Like, um, I just the way just like coincidentally like how this the street I'm on like lines up, like right when you walk out the front door like into the main walkway, it's like it's literally like a direct beeline straight into like where the lineup would be. And so you have like a, like a pretty clear, like unobstructed view of like, if there's waves, if there's any kind of lines, like you can definitely see it. Yeah. Um, so there's not going to be no, no sneaker days that pass <laughs> <laughs> that we don't know about because it's pretty much impossible for me to not see it when I'm getting up in the morning. So that's, I mean, by all means, that's <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're uh, you know, it's, we've got a you know second bedroom, so come that's... summertime, I'm sure we'll sure we'll have a few <laughs> sure we'll have a few visitors. It's I mean, you can see there's it's not really uh, organized quite yet. We just <laughs> kind of just use as a extra extra storeroom right now. But how's the we'll get... how's the, how's the angle looking? uh from from where you're at into the into the wedge peak for just just for our curiosity (laughs) uh i mean you you it's actually funny because like years ago uh i like was not familiar with this like neighborhood at all and like kind of like the layout and like how to really like move around and it just happened to be that like i think it was like five six years ago it's like i just wandered over here one really big day and like had kind of gone on shore so I just was like Mm -hmm. just kind of trying to play around with like new angles and um you know for future swells and like I actually stumbled upon like the exact street we live on and it was like a sick angle because it like looks right into it and like a lot of the photos you see from across the jetty they're just around the bend Mm -hmm. um which look kind of like straight across it um but where I am it's like more of like those are, I'd say like a 60 to 70 degree angle looking into it. I'm like 20 degrees, maybe 20, 30 degrees, like looking straight at it. So it's like pretty, pretty almost straight on. So yeah, I mean, 
um, I've gotten, like I said, I've gotten some pretty cool photos over the years, like from this exact spot. And then, I mean, if it's big enough, I could not even go anywhere. I could just film from, from the front, front yeah. yard, which would be pretty cool. That would be a funny like thing to do like a, I don't know, some kind of live stream from the, from the front yard. Yeah. I feel like I know what angle you're talking about just from that. Mm. Um, I think the 4th of July angle that Jared shot of that reverse that I did, I think he was over there. I don't know exactly, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. So he's, so he was, I believe he was over at the park, which is like a, like the treasure island cove. And there's like a, basically like a scenic kind of vista point. And that's the one that like looks almost like straight, like 70, whatever, like pretty yeah. like almost straight across into it. I'm mm. yeah, I'm just further around the bends. It's just a little bit more straight on. But I don't really ever see anybody shoot from over there, um, from like where I am. Mm. I mean it's it's I like it, it does have to be big though, or and tide, I guess, would be have to be high enough that it's not sitting too, you know too far below the J or yeah, it would be pretty pretty obstructed. Mm. But but yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, we we love that. We can't wait to crash to crash your place before we surf wedge <laughs> next year. So yeah, yeah, and then like just paddle over across the channel for some midday midday body womp sessions. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 funny because it actually is. It's like it's literally quicker to just paddle than it would be to drive because like driving wise, it would still be like 12, 15 minutes. But like to paddle, it'd be like. <laughs> not yeah. even 10 minutes yeah to just walk, walk down the hill and paddle across yeah i guess you just gotta if it's early i guess you gotta make sure you don't get fucking ran over by a boat or something just no <laughs> I boats need, i need i need <laughs> no like, boats yeah i need some like red little red buoy lights or something i don't know me and just... a lot of time maneuvering that harbor in the early hours so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me and just gonna probably <laughs> <laughs> I through there. I think we should. I think we should fundraise uh, to try and get a porter potty at Wedge for Tristan. <laughs> Already is. What are you talking about? <laughs> Perfect bathroom setup. The, 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 no, that's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> that, that's how. That's how I'm gonna need to get up and down. <laughs> Just Why look out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be climbing through your little turds. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> One day you're going to be just itching to surf wedge at like 2 p.m. You're going to have the day off. It's going to be nice and sunny and offshore. And you're going, yeah. to, you're going to paddle over there and climb up the rocks. And the first like <laughs> reach that you have is just boom, yeah. Tristan Dookie from two days. <laughs> you got to you gotta be careful. My first, my first is just going to get a handful. You gotta be careful what time you're checking wedge from that angle because you're gonna have the full <laughs> full view. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny if I was like checking it with the drone or something and Tristan like, <laughs> like over. I mean I'm I'm not I'm not I mean I'm looking forward to that day when you have the drone shot of the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Just holding it down. Perfect. I'm um, sure anyone would back me up and agree that's perfectly valid. Uh, oh yeah repository for such matters <laughs> yeah so what's the current situation up there in the, the humboldt county cruising last semester getting done getting showing done them showing them how yeah come back come back to the promised land with just dream. ready to, ready to smash wedge <laughs> Absolutely. We a, are we having a, a graduation party? Sure. Are you um? Are you are you like gonna walk and stuff? Is that? I feel like it. Well, I'm, I'm in the mood. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, <laughs> no, that's a good question. I think, and we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Because like when it. would you? When would you be walking in the spring? Right. May something or other. Yeah. Okay. Early so you'd, you'd walk with the spring or the spring graduates or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sick. Yep. And they'll be educated. 
Yeah. Got that piece of paper that just means the world. Right. Right. I'll get you any job you want. <laughs> That's the Stein. promise. <laughs> the promise. Uh, They're dude, just waiting had... to hire me at the end of the rainbow, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. I've had that piece of paper for a time. year now and it's gotten me nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it helps to look, it does help when you're looking for a job, if you already have a job, it's the best time to look for a job, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's funny how that works. You need the experience <laughs> to get a job, like, get the experience without. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You know, you could probably put that one together. Yeah, I know a lot of entry level jobs say two years of experience, like I thought this is entry level. Yeah. You know, what's entry level? <laughs> we don't need jobs. We just need boogie boarding. If we just have the boog and, you know, a million dollar investor, I think we could do a lot. <laughs> Swerve, you want to well, contribute? <laughs> I, was, I mean, I think we can look at surfing right now and what's happening with them. And I think even with the million dollar investor, you still end up with nothing at the end of the day. <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, what's going I, on with surfing? I, I, I mean, heard. people people hate the WSML. I mean, like you, you read half the comments, and it's like like they're basically just saying to like stop, like to not even like 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 they just don't care. Yeah. I mean, most of the most of the surfers to me on the world tour aren't even that exciting to watch, and and then it's like to add insult to injury, it's like then you don't even put them out in the best the best ways it's like what are we doing like yeah you know well i like, mean i i even heard that they they might have even lost their potential million dollar investors so i mean geez if i was them i'd be like i would i would walk away too i mean it's just like it's a waste i mean the the tough thing though is like it just seemed like surfers and stuff like just in general are typically just like unhappy regardless mm. it's kind of like um like uh i don't know if you guys ever heard like the stereotype of like star wars fans it's like they're like unhappy no matter what happens like yeah and it's like like no matter what you make like no matter how how hard you try or whatever it's like they're just always gonna hate it and it's like it kind of seems like regardless of the product that comes out like from surfing and from body it's like it kind of seems like people not unanimously but like a vast majority are displeased with the product that's coming out yeah and i mean and i i would like to believe that like the people that are trying or like the people that are in charge and that are doing these things like are trying their best like i'm sure they're not purposely like creating a shit product and like making things bad like they're obviously trying their best but it's like it is tough when like you know a huge part of your product is you know has to do with like what mother nature gives you and it's like if you just get dealt you know a bad hand of cards and it's like you know what are you going to do about the waves mm -hmm. but obviously there's a lot more to it than just that but whoa we're we're adding yeah, Mr. Uh, adding <laughs> Mr. Board. World Mr. World Champ is logging in. He he decided that it's okay to show up thirty minutes late, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, better late than never. I mean, yeah. That's, is he, are, can you hear us, Tanner? That's exactly what we're going to say when Rika pays him for uh, <laughs> <laughs> for, for all that nonsense. Still, so, so as, for as far as we know, still nothing, right? Still no correspondence or anything. Uh, I, I, I mean, I haven't heard nothing. I think he's having technical issues currently, but I have not heard nothing. So, and I, it, it can seems. You guys like... hear, can you guys hear me chewing or no? No. Okay. I mean, it's just ice cream, but. So make sure ice cream. cream. What kind of ice cream? I got um golden spin or cold stone. I got buy one get one free. It's for <laughs> deals. Ooh, what what's the flavor? Um, this one's like an 
like an Oreo mix. So it was like, ooh, like Oreo and chocolate chips and chocolate and all sorts of fat sugar. <laughs> that sounds pretty damn good. I'm eating. You want to know what I'm eating? Beans. I'm eating beans, garbanzo beans, quinoa, Romanesco, mushrooms. That and, sounds way um, better than ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, it has the same effect on me as ice cream has on you. Yeah. Just pure ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> I I highly doubt that. <laughs> hey. Um so so to go I wanted to continue talking about pipe. So yeah. did you guys what did you guys watch any of the like um surf line cam like rewind or like any footage from the day that they didn't run? The day or have you guys the, the day that they run. should have ran that they didn't run. Like the nice and sunny and offshore day. Yeah, the freaking pumping. I mean, it was giant. Like I would say, early morning, it was probably a bit messy. Yeah, but like they could have, yeah. they could have easily put it on hold for a couple of hours. Like they could have yeah. started running. Like I watched multiple hours of the Camry wine, and like for sure, like around, it seemed like around like eleven. Like there was like pretty solid ones, and then by the afternoon, it was pumping. Yeah. Did you watch any of it, Tristan? Uh, haven't got to. I've been seeing a lot of crazy stuff out of pipe, though. Yeah. So of... it probably stemmed from the day that they did not run. Yeah. Yeah. And then what's so crazy is that then, I mean, what sucks is then, you know, they ran like the women's day and it was like, pretty heinous it was like mm. you know it's it was like there was like a few sets every now and then but like there was multiple sets where there were literally not or, or like whole heats where there was not even a set mm. i mean which i understand like happens like it goes you know like the longer period swells like it goes it can go through like pretty longer like long holes but like even when the sets did come in it still wasn't even good and it was like basically only back door like super small back door waves and it was like yeah oh, do you like pipeline tanner yeah i like pipeline <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you like that at all actually <laughs> um yeah i'm in for pipe what are we talking about <laughs> we're, we're, we're just talking about the um the the how they didn't run on like the pumping day and then how lame the day was that they did run oh yeah it, that was pretty tragic for anyone yeah. who wanted to surf decent pipe. Yeah. And then what's so crazy to me is that like, they just like basically doubled down on it and like, didn't even say like, Oh man, you know? Yeah. Like we made the wrong call. Like we should have like put it on hold, you know, until like 10 30, 11 and then ran like, you know, whatever the round of 32 or the round of 16. Like, well, if I remember correctly, they said they were watching it until like twelve. They had it on hold for a long time. Oh yeah, wow! They they just, just, yeah, they did. They didn't just call I, it off in the morning. Mm-hmm. They like they had it on hold for a while. So yeah. they were like, it seemed like they were considering it for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, was the swell like picking up all day, or was it dying all day? It seemed like it was, it was dying. It was dying. dying. Yeah, yeah that's what didn't make any sense. Like, if it but, was still rising, I get it, but like, it was dying, and like, you could see on the buoys that it was already starting to trend down. So it's like, it was pretty obvious. Like, come early afternoon, it was going to be thick, and it, yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I turned on the on the cam because I was like, whoa! I thought it was like you know today was going to be the day. I thought they were going to mm-hmm. run. I turned on the cam and I just instantly saw like kind of a smoker Uh so i was like whoa what are they doing and then i watched for a couple minutes and saw some just absolutely chaotic waves like not at all fun but there definitely were some crazy ones yeah i mean i think like people would much rather see ones and tens than like lame twos and threes like in small waves 
Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I, like, do you think that it was, I mean, obviously you would know best out of us, like in terms of like um, contestable conditions, like you, you definitely, you, you feel that it was contestable, right? That it wasn't like. Yeah, contestable for sure. Like it wasn't like, you know, those are the best guys in the world. They can go and surf yeah. it. Well, and that's, that's, yeah. And that's, that's exactly what I was saying earlier. It's like, you know, the, for me, there's not that many you know, guys that I get really excited about, like watching on the world tour as it is. And it's like, but it's like, if these guys are the best in the world, like, why are they not surfing? Like, how could, if these are the best, you know, surfers in the world, how could there be conditions that they can't handle? Like, yeah, I heard, seem... I heard some, some people like some, you know, respected pipeline surfers kind of chirping them. Um, <clears throat> I, saw, I, I was just like, I saw, you know, I watched Baron's heat, you know, the day after, and he was like, he won his heat. So, you know, it was all mm -hmm. good for him, but he's like, yeah, I was kind of, I think he was like, oh, I was kind of confused why they didn't run yesterday or, oh, I was hoping they were going to run yesterday, but whatever mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. little, little jabs, but, and then, yeah. you know, the comment section, of course, is, yeah, they're getting it was lit so, up. It was so crazy. Like every, every comment on like every like post and in likes, and article and stuff that i saw like everyone was like oh you blew it you blew it you blew it like what are you guys doing and then i literally saw one single comment of a guy with, that was like oh yeah no like it, that was the right call like that was like like that one super good wave they're like yeah that was like that was that was like it took four hours for that one wave to come in i'm like <laughs> did, did you look at the cam at any point in the day because i'm pretty sure like you could literally do a 10 minute rewind and you would see at least three of those in a 10 minute span at like literally any given point in the afternoon like what the hell yeah. are you talking about <laughs> yeah i don't i don't know yeah uh, bummer but yeah bummer. whatever well the guys who went out scored you you're over there now, and how how have the um the promos been? Like, yeah, it's you've, been fun. You've been Maui, Maui. Where you been? I was, no, so he was on Maui. <laughs> yeah, I was first. on. I was on Maui. Um, we were cruising at the foam company, and we were there for a couple of days, kind of cruising. We got some waves and got to hang out a little bit on Maui, and then went over to Kona to Miller's Surf, and. Had a fun promo that day, and then now I'm back on Kauai, just kind of hanging out. Did some stuff at the shops around here. Um, did one today, and then one tomorrow at uh, Wipu Surf, which is going to be really fun because that was like one of my first sponsors. The day I got sponsored by Science in like 20, uh, 2012, 2011. Um, yeah, it was 2011. Same day I got sponsored by Science, the surf shop also sponsored me. And they were, you know super helpful when i was a kid and you know give me free bars of wax and you know <laughs> just, you as a just, kid. Yeah, yeah yeah um and then i'm going to oahu on saturday for promos at tnc and hic and then heading home from there so i'll be on a red eye back to california saturday night just booked my tickets last night nice Sick. did you finally get to surf uh harbor yeah, yeah. I got got to surf the harbor on Maui. Um sick. Like 10, 10, 12 years later after the first time I surfed it. Yeah. That's and cool. it wasn't even it it was fun. It wasn't like it was kind of the swell was super stormy and it was kind of missing the main part of the reef and we were surfing like a rip bowl like in where the channel would be. Oh. <laughs> so it was weird. just so st big and stormy. Okay. But it was fun. It was super fun. Yeah. You know, yeah, I was gonna say it looked like pretty on shore, but still, yeah, still all the harbor vibes. Yeah, it was, it was good times. You know, there were, but it was kind of just like pretty funky. If you're surfing that wave every day, you're probably like not super psyched on it. Mm -hmm. But you know, I just got off the plane. I was frothing to surf in warm water, and mm -hmm. kind of dragged the rest of the crew out with me. <laughs> Sick. And it was just us, you know getting some little ripples and there were some some groms on the wall kind of watching and hooting and hollering and it was fun cool yeah that sounds super fun good good well, vibes for sure sure tristan was pretty jealous as you were in that 80 degree water <laughs> yeah oh yeah <laughs> that at the moment it was great 
that that jacket <laughs> right. it's like you're just located in a cold water zone <laughs> yeah i wish i could wear this in the water <laughs> oh man <laughs> under my suit i, mean, I, I can't, just I can't even it. fathom what's going on up there like <laughs> down here it just rained for like three or four days straight and uh like i'm wearing a five four with a hood and potentially oh, really growing something out of my ankle <laughs> from oh this my God. Uh, from this I five million that. ton sewer explosion that's happened down here so so we're going to the snow when i get home not surfing is what i'm hearing i mean <laughs> dude it, the it, snow it, the snow is crazy right now like literally because uh when i drive to work i can see like the san bernito mountains it was literally like just white from the top to as like far down as you could see it was just pure white i think bear got like a i want to say like 60 inches of snow this week like it was in it in insane so uh I yeah i will be frothing on that let's get let's get you guys up there do yeah it. well unfortunately we leave i uh, will you and i will be kind of switching places um oh yeah you're heading out here. yeah i'm coming out on uh tuesday monday or tuesday dang um, but i'm i'm more than happy to yeah trade in <laughs> trade in my 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 uh my rain jacket for some for some warm water no you last time you've been snowboarding Greg. <laughs> you and i went snowboarding Dude, I think have you been? Have you been before? I think I was like so young in the like the teenage years, maybe like ten or eleven, maybe. Mm. And it was just like it was it was fun, but it's like you know you, you can't really learn what you want to learn <laughs> at that. Oh, at you're gonna learn. The <laughs> <laughs> sound it sounds like I'm gonna learn from. <laughs> <laughs> what everyone's been talking you're gonna learn yeah it's it's you're fun but it, it can definitely be a painful learning experience <laughs> yeah your I mean, tailbone like your, your tailbone the, will be pretty sore all the friends that i've known throughout the years like people have break, broken their collarbones and like doing some crazy like bone breaking i'm like dude i don't even know if yeah. i, I want to go try <laughs> i think as long as you stay away from like jumping you can mitigate quite a bit of your your injury rate like if you just learn how to just like basically just like surf like yeah. down the hill like at a reasonable speed like you'll do okay you'll definitely fall while you're learning because you'll still catch yeah. edges and fall on your face and stuff but like if you start once you start hitting jumps and like you're trying to hit like the features and rails, the rails, the rails and the boxes, those are don't don't even look at those. <laughs> don't even look at those. those yeah. You can, I think you can ask a Mark McDaniel of them, all about. Yeah, them. yeah, you got kind of smoked recently. <laughs> what? What? What was Marky doing? He was he, just trying to keep up with the keep up with <laughs> the young boys. <laughs> Mark, you're hopping in. You're getting in the hot seat. I know. You're getting <laughs> summoned to talk about your snowboarding wipeout. <laughs> you just keeps going. No, 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 no. <laughs> he said it's a sad story. Oh man. He just he went down backwards on a little box that Ko and I were riding over, and it just wasn't 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 pleasant. No. Don't go through the park. He says, "Don't go through the park." <laughs> yeah, uh, but I uh, yeah, snowboarding is fun. I love it, and I have to go at like fifty percent of what I want to be going all the time because I don't want to get hurt. Yeah, no, it's twenty five percent. Snow in Humboldt, Tristan. Hmm. Is there any home snow in Humboldt? Yes, if you go, I think only like twenty. 30 minutes from here, you can find a snowy little hill. I mean, the, I think the main place people go is Shasta up here. Yeah, yeah I know. I know. Yeah, I know that name. People, but there's no uh, <clears throat> lift. So you have to hike it. You have to like it's hike all the way back up. <clears throat> yeah. So it's like just raw. It's like yeah. raw snowboarding. Yeah. Like it's, a, you could, there's a designated snowboarding skiing place just yeah. no lift just <laughs> it's so, hardcore 
<laughs> that would keep me that would keep me away from that activity. So, <laughs> yeah. Nice little ride up the hill. Yeah, if you didn't have a <sighs> free ride up the hill, would you guys still snowboard? No. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like how mountain like mountain biking is like unless like most of the time, like a, a vast majority of places, unless you go to like basically one of the ski parks where you have a lift, like you got to pay to play every time because it's like you go down the hill, you do all the jumps and whatever, the whole trail, and then you have to go back up the hill <laughs> to do it again. Yeah. At least you can pedal up the hill and walking up up. Yeah, I mean, pedal snowboard pedaling. boots. <laughs> Yeah, pedaling is definitely easier, yeah. especially now too with like um the pedal assist e bikes as well. That definitely yeah, it. my calves yeah. are like disintegrated after walking just flat in snowboard boots. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> weird. Like the the shape, the the like contour of the boot. It's yeah, it's it's you like walk like like forward <laughs> on your toes. It's like it's, it's funky. Yeah, used to fins, not nice boots. Yeah. Um. Have you guys, uh, it's kind of random, but I was just watching uh, this this uh, Jerry Lopez documentary. Have you guys heard of it? It's like, it's called the yin and yang of Jerry Lopez. I think, it, I think I've heard of it. It was produced by um, Patagonia. And um, oh, sick. It, it came out like, I think like less than a year ago or like around a year ago. It's like an hour and a half. It's It's really, really sick. Like I would love to see them do something like kind of similar um like with mike about like um talking about like tahiti and stuff because i guess like um jerry lopez didn't necessarily like like obviously mike also has like a really uh you know like unique uh kind of relationship with like pipeline specifically but then also too mm-hmm. like is like a pretty big part in like uh the discovery of other waves like jerry didn't discover like g land but like he was basically like one of like the first guys to be out there like in the 70s and um like they were like the first ones to build like a little like beach shack like hut on the sand and like they would just go out, they would take a boat out to g land from bali like a three-hour boat ride and they would Gnarly. just camp, they would just camp there for like weeks at a time that's pretty um, rugged yeah and then like i guess there was even at one point like jerry like didn't want to leave and he literally stayed at g land like on java by himself like they they all went back to bali and he stayed there by himself and like camped there by himself and served in g land by himself like (laughs) that's 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 like way way and that was back when like malaria and stuff was like pretty hectic and like also too obviously imagine like he doesn't have a satellite phone like if he gets hurt, like hits his head on the reef, like he cuts himself bad, like he gone. I, I, I mean, oh, yeah, I'd imagine you'd die. Uh, heavy. Yeah, but it was just super, super interesting, uh, and like just his like whole perspective on life and like shaping boards and like his business and stuff and like mm-hmm. the way he's like integrated like yoga and surfing and kind of like infused and incorporated the two and like um i know like jeff and mike like both like not i don't know if it's necessarily yoga specifically but like stretching and stuff is like and you know mobility and flexibility and like plays such a huge role in bodyboarding also like it would be really interesting to like hear you know like kind of like them talk about that and um you know just like how the two are Maybe one one day we can have them on and we can have them just freaking mm-hmm. dive into it. Yeah, it's yeah. It'll be cool. Get Jerry on the horn. It'll be cool when the sport gets to the point where there's like, you know, documentaries and those kind of feature length films being made about people like that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's getting to the point now where it's there's a lot of a lot more history, mm-hmm. and you know, the timeline is starting to be kind of you know, stretched out a bit more. So there's, you know, a lot more stories to be told now. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, be cool for someone to kind of take on that role of, you know, tracking down and telling those stories, having people tell those stories and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because those stories out to the world. Need to be, like, need to be released, you know, like it's pretty yeah. to the to the general public. So, yeah, people would love that. People love that. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm I sure mean, that there's some crazy ones. 
For sure. Yeah. I mean, even like, I'd be curious, like, just like specifically at some of these bodyboarding waves that like surfers don't really surf, like that yeah. you kind of imagine like were discovered first surfed and like still pretty much predominantly only surfed by bodyboarders. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like <clears throat> front on like, yeah, like there's a couple of mm -hmm. guys that will, like will, you know, stand up surf like, but it's like, it's not like you're like necessarily high performance surfing like at front on like it's just not no. suited and for the, it. But yeah. And even they like acknowledge like, yeah, we're just, we're kind yeah. of just in a bodyboarder space. Like we're just kind of, you know, yeah. we're existing kind of on the side of the, the main attraction. Yeah. But like, I'd love to hear like, who's like, who's the first guy who saw that wave and was like, holy moly. And like, mm -hmm. was like, yeah, I'm going to go try to surf that. Cause like, you see it for the first time. Like, imagine if like no one had surfed that before you'd be like, yeah, right. Like, I mean, maybe yeah. if you, maybe if you saw it when it was like, you know, four to six foot, you'd be like, oh wow, that looks really fun. But like the first person to surf it when it was like, yeah crazy like Wait, you're talking yeah. about tropes right no no we're no, talking no. about fronton oh fronton. well what if you're talking about tropes? i mean <clears throat> well tropes too i mean well and that's why i think w where mike would come into play is because uh, like he was you know i know that him like you know surfing tropes like i don't remember if he specifically like was the he first was one, one of the first one of the first or... people one of the first people to surf it and ride it Mm -hmm. maybe not exactly the first one of the first people to surf it big as far as i know yeah and kind of like put it on the you know bring it to it, the world i think because i think someone else discovered it right and then told them i think about it but like no one had really like tried to ride it quite yet i think there's, there's a few conflicting claims to it i've yeah. heard like some people claim they their grandpa was the first one to surf it or whatever yeah. i mean maybe maybe their grandpa went out there and yeah <laughs> he, i mean maybe he, and he never saw him again <laughs> <laughs> he disappeared he became one with the ocean one day yeah how was that i mean maybe that, home. that he just posted mike body surfing? body surfing one was it tropes yeah yeah i was gonna say that that photo is pretty crazy yeah, it's I can't legit. imagine body surfing that way. That's terrifying. Because no just sucking so hard. Like, I how do you get out? Know. How do you get out of it? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Like, it's I guess you just have out. to de. You just have to like de. You go down, maybe. That's I mean, you can't that, go up. Really, that's another another good question question to have for for him when he <laughs> comes on the pod. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, uh, just, I mean, what are you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> this is a complete 180, and I think it's a very interesting topic for the general public. But uh, what's everyone's Super Bowl bets for this upcoming weekend here? Lions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to inform you, but they already lost. <laughs> and I'm so sad they lost, too. Right? Yeah. Like, it, okay. Yeah. First off, what, what's your dream Super Bowl? Lions. Mm, I mean, <laughs> now... It, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, nowadays, it's, like, it's kind of tough, like, um, I mean, because, like, all, you, it's kind of, like, similar to everything. Like, you're kind of always nostalgic towards the players you grew up watching, and, like, most yeah. of the players, like, I all idolized as, like, a kid. They're, like all like they're they're all retired now so it's mm. like i i'm not as emotionally invested into any of like the current players mm. right now as much like um Brett Favre. Know, <laughs> exactly <laughs> perfect example yeah i mean he um yeah, that's god of a win <laughs> yeah well um, 49ers you guys would better have california pride Yes. 49ers. This is this is where we're diving in because I am sick of the Chiefs winning. <laughs> what are Taylor we? Taylor Swift. Podcast Let's now? get into it. Taylor Swift. <laughs> and if I'm Taylor's not going to his crap. first, if Taylor's going to win her first Super Bowl, that is bullshit. Man. I'd be so happy. For, oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think anybody cares to listen to people There's three people of... who don't really know anything about football to begin. No, with. all of the Five people players. not from the U.S. listening to this right now are like, "What kind of?" All right. Well, I'll give you the thirty for every to, just to finish that to finish the conversation. I'll give you a thirty second uh, summarization. Yeah. The Chiefs are playing in the Super Bowl against the 49ers. The Chiefs are the team who Taylor Swift's boyfriend plays for. Everybody in America does not like that team because they're getting a bunch of commercial coverage. Um, so basically, like the whole United States is like pulling for San Francisco. Yes. Um, and and that's a, yeah. that's pretty that's pretty much it. Let's go. I guess Niners. people. I guess people are probably somewhat aware because the U.S. is the center of attention and everything. It is. Well, it is. I think I think we 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 think that. Oh uh, no well, no! I don't know. Sure. I, I, I was freaking like sitting right here yesterday, and apparently, like California is flooding internationally. Like it's on. That's the a big deal. And. I got a message from Australia. Someone from Australia was like, how's the flood what? in California? <laughs> and I was like, what? Well, I mean, we're, where we are, we're not sp- specifically affected. But, like, there are areas that were, like, yeah. pretty hectic. Like, there was like definitely people's... Yeah, like, people's homes were definitely destroyed. Like, there was, like... Yeah. We are fortunate to live in areas where, like, it didn't matter. But, like, there's definitely areas like that, yeah, like yeah. Long Beach. Like, there's people's cars that were like fully. Like, imagine you you woke up to go to work and your car's yeah. six feet underwater. Like, yeah, like you'd be pretty. I saw, for, I saw a guy paddleboarding yeah. across the five. Yeah, like you. Yeah, yeah. yeah I you could that. drive a boat in San Diego, like one of the San Diego free. I don't know which one it was, but there was a San Diego freeway that you could drive. Like, literally, put a boat in and drive it across. And I was like, what, yeah. what are we doing here? <laughs> Yeah, like yeah, how that's, is, pretty, that's pretty nuts. Like, how are the freeways and like all the drain systems in San Diego, like just specifically San Diego, like so hectic that it just is not? Well, you know, I think it was just because it was so much in such a short amount of time, and like yeah. our infrastructure is just not really meant to handle like that type of volume. Yeah. Um, I mean, we set records in multiple like cities yeah. and counties. So, I mean, the fact that it was funny, it was just like it just the infrastructure for drainage just like couldn't keep keep up basically you yeah. sure couldn't yeah all right well what else is going on in the world boogie boarding world is there anything going on i mean a lot of people have been swiping up and asking like like what are we what are we bad at like what what sports are we bad at do they want to know about us and i like, suck at hockey Straight out of the gates, like I am terrible at soccer. <laughs> what? Like, I'm You're so gonna lose excited. some South American fans. Yeah, mm. like, I if if I try to use my feet doing anything other than like crossing my fins, <laughs> then I'm like useless, gone. <laughs> if you put me on a soccer team, I will make you lose like instantly. So that that that's yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty pretty useless at football. Like I can oh, catch I can catch I'm quick, but your hands are just you need gloves. I just <laughs> the the football shape doesn't make sense to me. You don't okay. You don't, yeah. I never I didn't play it as a kid, so yeah. Baseball, soccer. I'm also pretty bad at hockey. Craig can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys played hockey just the Are whole puck okay? thing <laughs> oh yeah in the, in the alley i can skate like i would be a decent skater what about ice skating like, but like oh, that's what that's what i meant skating the whole like prospect how are I'm we pretty like... fire at rollerblading i think okay. <laughs> said Roller the boogie boarder <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i mean i can i can like move around and like do turns like uh i mean i skate like once every couple of years so <laughs> during I the holidays yeah, i mean i would once every couple of weeks <laughs> no i mean 
So I mean, like, I would, I would say, like, I can move around, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put myself like above like a, a three in terms of proficiency. Like, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I'm not like falling over my legs like a baby giraffe, but like, I'm not. I don't... We gotta get a clip of swerve. <laughs> yeah, just hauling. I'm, I'm about to message Sophie right now. If she's ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've never we haven't been skating together, but yeah, what? next time. But when we go, I'll uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll send you guys a video. I yeah, can, we're gonna get you around. trying to do a hockey stop swerve. <laughs> I could do I can do like a little uh, one like I can do a 180, 180 mm. jump. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> See, my yeah. hockey my hockey stop is usually like a like a half spray of ice and then like slam into the wall. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. That's yeah. That's that's my thing. That's my cool. only thing I know how to gain speed. I don't know what to do with it after. Can't stop. Just that, yeah. I can't. That sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't really hockey stop. I kind of just when I get too much speed, I just do like a big curve. <laughs> I just <laughs> I, yeah. just a big yeah. cutback. Yeah, I just do like a really big cutback to kind of mitigate some of the. I'm just an object in motion well. until something stops that motion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I would. People are also that's not ex- people are also wondering like what what do we do out of the water? Um, what are we good at? What do we like to do? Um, and immediately pickleball comes in mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's something you guys need to be talking about a plan of how to really get to that Progress. level. Yeah. Really, you know, that's that's going to be our lives. It, yeah. <laughs> We should sure. have like a we should have like a round robin tournament at Creek over the yeah. summer. At Creek, yeah, that up on the basketball court. Yeah, I mean they don't have the they don't have the. Do you think you could beat us in the in the pickleball tournament and then drop a comment and and <laughs> fire away because I drop think... a comment if you don't know what that is either. Yeah, <laughs> that's another probably strictly U.S. I think activity. it's like starting to make its way out. Like I think maybe in like yeah. Central South America, but I don't think it's like a European thing yet. No, think. they're they're all about racquetball mm. or a racquetball. That's mm. yeah. Sorry, yeah, I got yeah. Which which is, which is funny because racquetball here was like a thing like thirty years ago, and it's yeah. like <laughs> it's like all the racquetball courts are like were like re the you know they're like re- repurposed for something yeah. entirely different. Pickleball. All the old timers oh, I play with up here, they are ex racquetball players. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean racquetball to me is kind of boring. What pickleball like is, I don't know. It's more engaging. I feel like racquetball, you just like you're just hitting the crap out of the ball and it's like bouncing off the walls. Like oh. yeah, that's another thing we can talk about. It's like it's like I think pickleball is is way more like high performance. Well, okay, I wouldn't go. I would I wouldn't not. Say, I don't know I if I would be... use those words to describe pickleball. <laughs> you gotta be an pickleball. elite athlete for sure. Pickleball, pickleball is like tennis for ninety-year-olds. You it, need it, to be well? full top shape if you even want to step on the court. I'd say. I mean, I think I, I feel like it's I feel like it's almost universally accepted that it's like for middle-aged guys geriatrics like not very athletic but it's like because it's such an easy sport like if you have a reasonable whoa, 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 whoa. hand-eye yeah. coordination oh, whoa, 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 whoa. and then if you're Come and then on. if you're and then if you're actually if you're actually an athlete then like you seem like you're freaking Raphael and the doll like <laughs> it's definitely a sport yeah, people tell me Federer but <laughs> it's definitely a a game sport that you can drink three IPAs before and still play. Mm, yeah. And that's the demographic. So it's like beer pong. I'll rattle them out of you. <laughs> Gut shots. Yeah. I don't know. Um, it's it's growing. It's growing fast. It's growing I fast. like I like pickleball because you don't gotta check the forecast, you know. You, you know what's reliable those old timers they're always there they don't got a job but but you, but there you do have to check the forecast though because you can get rained out and you can get wind out move that shit inside sir <laughs> well i mean that's if you have access to an indoor court the biggest problem for us is the crowds 
<clears throat> really? Yeah. 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 Down, down in these these parts. The yeah. OC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're in like the pickleball mecca down here. That's yeah. Austin. Yeah. <clears throat> An another great topic. Should we just go to Austin and play some pickleball? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> What are you talking about? Let's just buy let's buy cheap housing in Waco and just surf the way pool and play pickleball. I think day. we'd no. still be broke, but I'm down. <laughs> no, I, I think we'd be better off we'd be better off buying something in Coachella Valley, I think. That's the zone. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because there's gonna be way more there's gonna be there's gonna be an array of wave pools, so we'll have variety. But also too, I think like the the whole um like airbnb market is like mm -hmm. changing out there because like a lot of the homes are all getting bought up for like as a uh, investment properties and they're changing some of the local laws so like people that are actually wanting to like live in the homes uh can buy them because like the prices were getting crazy it was like not that much you know not that much cheaper you know to live out there like before it was a fraction of the price and now it's like the prices are like pretty comparable to a lot of areas over here yeah but yeah um, it's, what, what it's about crashed out there Airbnb but yeah it's never left well yeah i mean but but yeah it's it's totally changing now and like the yeah their housing market's kind of crashing because it's like you they're rezoning all the houses and stuff so it's i don't know it's kind of boring bureaucratic stuff for people but it is it is interesting though because it's going to change the landscape out there and also too with like coachella like the festival being yeah. um like <clears throat> i'm pretty curious to see like if if they have a really bad year and stuff like how much that's going to affect like the local economy and the rental market and stuff like that as well now, i've been to coachella before if you're wondering <laughs> No one. <laughs> yeah, you you want want I mean, from what I've heard, Coachella sales are are way down from what they usually are. Yeah. So yeah, for sure. What's, what's yeah, that? yeah. I mean, they haven't even sold out after multiple weeks. So it's yeah, it's curious. I'm curious to see like if they end up changing something or you know, I mean, it's gonna have pretty big effects. Um, That's pretty wild because it used to sell out in like a minute. <laughs> yeah yeah and so yeah well i mean the 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 lineup is kind of i think the biggest issue because it's like the it's so saturated now with so many different festivals like mm -hmm. i think maybe they just can't either afford or there's just not enough availability to like build a you know big enough lineup who knows i don't know i don't know i feel like the lineup is like the almost the biggest part of a festival so if the lineup well, that's the whole thing that's the whole thing <laughs> exactly I mean, I think... the... so if the lineup's bad then it's just shot yeah shut out the gates yeah which seems like what's happening this year but i do like the the house and the tech house that's that i'm seeing on the lineup but i feel like it's not kind of exploded into the world yet what are some big hitters on the lineup this year Clooney, Dom Dalla, and John Summit come straight to mind. And what makes it hard is because you want to see all those like separate artists, but Dom Dalla and John Summit are playing two separate days, and then they also have their back-to-back -back day on the day that they're not both playing. So it's like John Summit on a Friday, Everything Always, which is John Summit and Dom Dalla on a Saturday, <clears throat> and then it's Dom Doll on a Friday. So it's like you basically have to buy three days if you want to see them all play that many times. But if you want to see one once, you have to buy one day, whether that be Friday or Sunday. It sounds like I'm just going to watch it from, from YouTube. And nowadays, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> I mean, I, I like it. Just load yeah. it up and just blast it on your speakers. So. Hmm. Yeah, I think it. I think it's a way better experience. Anyways, I mean, the sounds good, and like you could be eating whatever you want and just chilling, and not have to be. <laughs> are, are you gonna get those goggles, swear? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get the vision, <laughs> the vision pro goggles, and then I'll be, I'll be at. It'll I mean, be better than being there. Just locked in. 
these days yeah. you can just freaking lock in and just fire up the Coachella live stream and be there. Yeah. We just did book our first um breaking even TV trip. As a yeah, group. should we but should we no, talk about that? We'll, or... we'll, we'll, we'll okay. Back. Nah, I was gonna yeah. say yeah, yeah, let's keep, let's keep that, that one on the DL. Yeah, yeah. let's keep it on the DL. <laughs> just say we're but we are working on we are working on our next movie though. Yeah, but yeah. if you if you have any ideas and any um places that you think we're going, just drop it below and maybe we'll confirm or deny. You have no idea where we're going. <laughs> we're going to we're going to North Korea. <laughs> oh. I mean, I mean, some some sick waves out there next to all the nuclear bases. Sorry, we're gonna, we're no, there real. are. Have you guys have you guys ever seen Google images of North Korea? Like, there's like sick waves. And you just I've heard there's waves in the in the not North Korea, South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> South Korea. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we've shipped we've shipped some stuff uh, to South Korea before. Wow. Uh, not often, but no, I wouldn't imagine that's necessarily but, a but hot we, spot. Yeah, but we but we have. Um, same with India too, which uh, that was like another kind of like surprising spot um, that I didn't know that there was like good, like there's like good waves. Well, jokes on you. We just booked our first trip to Palm Springs. <laughs> <laughs> We're taking a greyhound, and, and if you believe that, then. Um... So. You're gonna be bamboozled. <laughs> All right. Well, my computer is about to die, so I have to go. <laughs> All right. But well, work, is there anything yeah. anything else before we before I sign off? No, I think we're. I think that's good. How long have you been going for? Um, I don't know. Probably an hour. Oh, oh sweet. I mean, yeah. I feel like that's enough. I feel like that's enough. I mean, like it was great. I got to show up, blow up, and then <laughs> end it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, all right. Well, hang on. Let me see. Let's let's get let's get Mark in the frame for the the final. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's He's go. Posted. Which what um what are you guys staying? At? Are you guys in Poipu? Yeah. Is that the place that ask him? Is that the place I I stayed at? I can't I can't tell. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, I, the fan looks the same, but I think the layout of the room looks a little different. Yeah, I think that one's pretty common. Yeah, we're hanging, so we're cruising. So you're out there for another couple of days, and then you'll be back back in California. And Tristan, when are you? Yes, spring break. April? April, early April, heavy. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I might go to DC, visit yeah. Demai. I haven't been out there before. Um, but I would. I do want to be home. I do like being home. I like getting waves. Um, There's a lot of that coming. Yeah. Yeah, about to be infinite, infinite waves starting the summer. Yeah. Wedge. Like DC is cool. You should go. There's a lot of historical stuff there. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Go there for a week, I think would be cool. Yeah, I think I was there for like three, I think like three days. I felt like that was like enough to see stuff. And then that gives you a couple of days to just hang out as well. As long as it's not Jersey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Can't imagine going to that place. <laughs> Just kidding. We love you, Jersey. <laughs> yeah, I think you guys are alien alienating. Uh... We love Jersey. We love Jersey. I think we got to go back. To be honest, I would. We got. I would. Go. In a, I would in a heartbeat. I left a piece of my heart there, at Joe Leon's. Part of my soul. If anyone out there is listening and knows a good swell is coming to Jersey, just get us a call. <laughs> <laughs> you no know, good sandwich shop. Just put it in the chat. Don't even uh, mention Joe Leon's. We got some revenge <laughs> to deal with. 
All right, get a gentlemen, on us. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening in to the second edition of the Breaking Even TV podcast. And we'll catch you again next time. <laughs>